Whatever is impossible for us is possible with you. You can do wonders. You can lift up our hearts to our Heavenly Father and you can surrender all our prayers in a pleasing way to our, before our Father. Help us, Holy Spirit, to love our Father in a greater way we want to love our father we want to dedicate ourselves to our lord holy spirit help us to love jesus more and more oh holy spirit help all those who are suffering with a sickness you are a spirit of healing we believe that 
a holy spirit fill all the hearts with divine wisdom help all children to understand god's will console all those who are suffering with the troubles of life holy mary pray for us hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou amongst women and blessed the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen my dear friends today we are going to think about the power of priesthood first samuel chapter 2 verse 35 first samuel chapter 2 verse 35 there we see that our heavenly father says i will raise up a priest for myself a faithful priest now let us hear from the bible i will raise up for myself a faithful priest who shall do according to what is in my heart and in my mind i will build him a sure house and he shall go in and out before my anointed one forever hallelujah 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 heavenly father our god is very much pleased with faithful priests priesthood is a blessing from heaven to all of us but we do not realize we do not understand the blessings which comes through the priests since we are not aware of the fact we are not going to receive blessings from the priests so many are keeping away from priests i would like to share an experience which happened in my life I was very good in my studies in my mother tongue I was not well versed in English surely I know that you are all here not in search of grammar or not in search of beauty of the language but you are all in search of the anointing of holy spirit I know that praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah my mother tongue is malayalam and I was very good in my studies there and i completed my uh, priestly studies and 1994 i was ordained as a priest then i was appointed to a parish a remote village when i was there in my youthhood i was fully busy with the problems of the people i will finish the church services by before 10 o'clock in the morning then i will be going around all the area i will going i will be involving with all the problems of the people and i spend my whole life in social activities in order to make myself a relevant priest i was not aware of the power of priesthood so i was thinking i have to involve in many other things to make myself good for the people to make myself relevant to the people one day an experience happened to me so when was and when when i was doing a ministry there one old man came there that man was addicted for smoking and drinking for 52 years when he was attending a program a bible program he came to me and received a blessing and i blessed him in the mighty name of jesus he says that the very same day our lord took away 
his addiction of drinking and smoking he was a chain smoker and a drunkard for 52 years in his life now he is totally free and he is a witness of jesus there when i heard this experience i was taken up by that i was joyful i i became very happy i said it is very good now it is very easy to give blessing to every people it is good i will do and i was very happy i was very enthusiastic then in the evening the lord intervened our lord said father father it is not because of your merit or because of your prayer or you because of your holiness that it happened it is not because of your holiness that it happened but it is merely because of my gift to you the priesthood i gave you a free gift priesthood and because of the power of the priesthood it took place then i i, I asked my lord lord is there any word in the bible to substantiate this matter then holy spirit slowly led me to deuteronomy chapter 10 verse 8 there it is written like this if a pre- there are so many spiritual authorities given to a priest if if anyone with a priesthood bless a person he is doing it with the heavenly power that will bring great miracles in his life it is written deuteronomy chapter 10 verse 8 let us hear from the bible at that time the lord set apart the tribe of levi to carry the ark of the covenant of the lord to stand before the lord to minister to him and to bless in his name to this day there stated so many powers related to priesthood in the first we read that he has the power to carry out the holy things what is written there to carry the ark of the covenant of the lord yes to carry out to carry the holy things to take the holy things to take the body of christ to take the blood of christ to take holy things he is authorized he is not a simple person the priesthood is not a uh, priesthood is not a so simple he is authorized to deal with holy things the next one to stand before the lord yes he can go straight to the god he can enter the holy of holies he can enter the holy place he can stand before the lord he can stand before the altar he can enter the altar and he can move there for, for me what is most impressed to me is the next one there it is said he has the power to bless in his holy name let us hear from the bible and to bless in his name to Ye- this day hallelujah hallelujah to bless in his name it is a divine authority to use this authority it is only a priest is interested those who have the priesthood can use this authority god set apart the house of levi levi to do this ministry the house of levi is the house of priests in the old testament a house yeah. of levi is the house of priesthood in new testament the priests of the church praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah they are interested to bless the people in the name he can bless the people bless the house to he can bless a country everything he can bless anything and anywhere in the name of the lord then immediately there arose a question in my mind that what will happen if a priest bless a house what will happen if one receive a priestly blessing then holy spirit slowly led me to numbers 
ചാപ്റ്റർ സിക്സ് വേഴ്സസ് ട്വന്റി ടു ടു ട്വന്റി സെവൻ The Lord spoke to Moses saying Speak to Aaron and his sons saying Thus you shall bless the Israelites you shall say to them The Lord bless you and keep you The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace So they shall put my name on the Israelites and I will bless them When a priest bless a house or when one receives a priestly blessing immediately the Lord will bless them If a man who don't have the job come to a priest and and say father I don't have a job. Please bless me. Then, if that priest bless him in the name of the Lord to have a job, Lord immediately will bless him to get a job. When priest do a blessing, when a faithful priest do a blessing, immediately the Lord also will bless them, bless that house, bless that man. Then, Isaiah says, 4426 holy spirit showed that uh, the power of priesthood is immense we can't imagine that much power is there with the priesthood even even though there is not a ministry or a prayer or anything a single word is enough to bring miracles from heaven isaiah chapter 44 verse 26 there we read like this The Lord confirms the word of his servant and fulfills the prediction of his messengers. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Once more let us hear that word. The Lord confirms the word of his servant. Oh, oh a single word if he utters a single word the Lord will confirm it. It is the Lord who confirms his word. a single word it is very relevant it is very precious to the lord priest it is not a simple thing to get a blessing from a priest is not a simple thing it is great to succeed in your life to grow in your in your business to have a good uh, education to have success in all where you are going our lord gives us a good instruction in second chronicles chapter 20 verse 20b listen to me o judah and inhabitants of jerusalem believe in the lord your god and you will be established believe in his prophets and you will succeed Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Believe in your God and you will be established. Believe in his prophets and you will you will be succeeded. You will succeed. Now let us raise up before our God and pray for some time to get a divine wisdom to respect the priesthood. To know the power of priesthood. or the holy spirit has to help us the way i came to know the power of priesthood is by the help of holy spirit i studied for 10 years philosophy theology and many other things but afterwards also i was not aware of the greatness of priesthood but one day when holy spirit touched me he revealed slowly slowly the mighty wonders of priesthood so i I really pray my friends for you to have this my, to have this great knowledge oh holy spirit bless oh holy spirit anoint oh holy spirit give the wisdom of heaven hallelujah 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 oh god heavenly father holy spirit holy spirit hallelujah hallelujah thank you holy spirit come 
Holy Spirit, come. Holy Spirit, come. Holy Spirit, come. There is wisdom when you 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 come. Holy Spirit, come. Holy Spirit, come. Holy Spirit, come. Holy Spirit, come. There is wisdom when you 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 come. Holy Spirit, come. Holy Spirit, come. Holy Spirit, come. Holy Spirit, come. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ. Let us all pray with great devotion. All those who are involved with many things, please come together and bow before the blessed sacrament. He is here in a real manner. Now, the power of priesthood, we heard about that. With that power, now I want to pray for all of you. Please take all your burden before the Lord. We are praying for the sick people. We are praying for those who are suffering with the economical problems. We are praying for, for those who are troubling with the family problems. We are praying for those who are troubling with their studies. Oh Lord, come and help. Come and heal all those who are sick. Now, please raise your hands. Pray as you can. Now it is a time to open your heart before your Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. 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 Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Come, Jesus. Heal our Lord Jesus. Come. We are we are struggling. We are struggling much on all. Jesus, help us all. Jesus, oh Jesus. Call your call his mighty name. Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Heal, heal, touch, touch. Oh Lord, deliver us, deliver us, oh Lord, deliver us, oh Lord. Come to your home, oh Lord, come to your house, oh Lord. Come to me, come to us, come and bless us, oh Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Oh my beloved Jesus, 
now we bring all those who are suffering with the cancer all the cancer all those who are suffering with the diabetes all those who are suffering with the different kinds of sickness i bring all the sick people before you jesus right now right now touch and heal them hallelujah 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 Lord Jesus we the children are before you we the students are before you we have our own problems in our school in our college with regard to our studies we are struggling with many problems with regard to our friendship we are struggling we want to lead a holy life but many times we are failing come jesus make me clean make me strong help me jesus raise your hands and call jesus once more jesus oh jesus come and heal your land together call jesus receive the benediction please give all your respect to our beloved jesus christ he is here raise your hands and give all respect all honor all love to our lord jesus hallelujah hallelujah